Hello and welcome inside the Mind of Matt. You got a new printer and you're not sure exactly what to do next? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down the basics of downloading a 3D model, slicing it, and printing it from an SD card. If you don't know exactly what to do and you want to know, make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. So this past week I had the privilege of making a home visit to an elderly gentleman that has purchased himself a new 3D printer and he wasn't exactly sure how to go about putting models that he got from Thingiverse on and printing it. So I went over and I did a little explanation and showed him what to do and I'm going to show you as well. Now. You're going to need a couple things. They're going to be software. What are they? Well, it's going to be a slicer. Me personally, I've paid the, the money for Simplify 3D, but if you're not willing to spend $150, then you're going to probably want to use a free slicer. In this example, I'm going to be using the latest Acura 2.6.2. Now, I'm not going to go through all the settings and all that as far as what you need to be putting on in all them things in order to make your printer print right. I'm just going to go and explain the basics of getting that file, putting it in your slicer. You're going to set your settings and then we'll save it, put it on an SD card, put it in the printer, and then it'll print. So here we go. All right, so let's head over to Thingiverse. And you'll see, let's pick uh, something up. You could pick anything you want. We're not going to actually print it. I'm just going to go through the basics. So, let's pick this semicircle for the ANET. I actually am printing with this particular fan shroud. It turns out it's not the original, so let's go to the source. You're going to want to download the file. This is where the organization that you pick is going to determine how successful you are in finding things. Me, I have made a file and it's I'm going to save it there. And it's actually in a 3D designs folder and then a zip folder underneath that and then I'm going to save it to there, which I've actually already done, but I've just done it again. So next, you're going to want to open it. And you're going to need a unzipping software. I am using 7-Zip. I will leave a link in the description for you so you can download it there. It is a free software. So once you've opened it in, your unzipping software you're going to see a bunch of files as well as a couple of folders which contain all kinds of information but the one we're going to be seeking the most is going to be underneath your files now you can unzip the entire thing or you can just unzip the particular file that you want and you're going to do that by extracting it so i'll highlight the file that i want and i'll hit the extract button and it's going to give the option to save it somewhere. I'm going to select directly into my 3D design folder. I'm going to hit OK and OK again. And it's there. So now you're going to want to open up your slicing software, which I already have open. This is Kira. You're going to want to open a file and you're going to want to find where you put that file that you just unzipped, which I said your organization at this point is going to determine how easy it is to find. Me, I've opened right up to it, so I'm going to open that and it's going to put it into my slicer. Now, if you notice, immediately it sliced it. 
So at this point, I could save it to my removable disk. It would be on my SD card, which this is just a reader. I'm actually using a USB or a full-size SD adapter. So at this point, you'll want to make sure that you go through and get all your particular settings for what you're wanting to do. So from here, let me move my head out of the way. You should be able to save to a removable disk. And at this point, you can eject it, remove it from your computer, and then you're going to take it over to your printer. Let's do that. So I'm going to do this in my ANAT because I can get at my SD card easily at this one which it's actually plugged into my Octoprint. Let's unplug that, turn her on, and then you're going to insert the memory card. Now from here you're going to want to go into your menu, see if I can get it to focus on it. You're going to want to go into your menu. Go to SD card. And you're going to want to mount card. And then you can print from file. And there's our file, and we're going to go and we're going to print. So before you do actually go through and hit that print, make sure that you're preheated and cleaned and ready to actually print with your filament loader and all that, because it'll start to print right away. But anyways, if this has helped you at all, make sure that you hit that like button. Leave a comment down in the comments section if you'd like. Make sure that you're subscribed, hit your notification, and make sure you keep coming back for more Inside the Mind of Matt. Happy printing!